If there's a single natural disaster that no one observing this video would desire to go through, it's undoubtedly a tsunami. This was evident in both 2004 and 2011 when we witnessed the sheer magnitude of devastation caused by these occurrences. The impact of these events is overwhelmingly enormous, causing once untouched coastal cities to be obliterated with minimal warning. Undeniably, tsunamis represent an incredibly fearsome natural phenomenon. Yet, throughout the annals of history, several tsunami waves have emerged of such colossal proportions that comprehending their scale becomes a challenge. These waves, towering as tall as skyscrapers, unleash destruction relentlessly across vast stretches. Their reach extended from the United States to Japan. Presented here are the five most towering tsunami waves ever recorded. If you find this video engaging, remember to subscribe to the Saftium channel for more content of a similar nature. Mega Tsunami Tsunamis typically generated by massive underwater earthquakes that displace substantial volumes of water, possess an alternative manifestation known as mega-tsunamis. Surprisingly, these mega-tsunamis are unrelated to seismic events like earthquakes or other geological occurrences. Instead, they occur due to the abrupt infusion of material into a body of water, leading to significant water displacement. Often, these mega tsunamis are caused by sudden landslides or the collapse of large icebergs. In the annals of history, a striking example of a mega tsunami transpired 66 million years ago. During this time, an asteroid ranging from 6.8 to 50.3 miles in diameter impacted the Yucatan Peninsula, forming what is now known as the Chicxulub Impact Crater. This colossal asteroid collision generated a mega tsunami towering over 100 meters in height, an unprecedented spectacle. Its extraordinary height and swift movement led certain scientists to speculate that this wave potentially reached as far inland as Chicago, Montana, or even parts of Canada. Remarkably, in this case, the primary devastation wasn't solely due to the wave. The immense impact of an asteroid of this scale eradicated entire animal species from the planet, equating the impact of striking water to that of striking land. Regardless, the resulting environmental upheaval had far-reaching consequences, culminating in an ice age and potentially contributing to the extinction of the dinosaurs. Mount Anzen Japan stands as one of the most geologically dynamic regions globally, situated at the convergence of three tectonic plates within the infamous Pacific Ring of Fire. This nation boasts numerous active volcanoes owing to this geological activity. Among them is Mount Anzen, an active volcanic group comprising overlapping strata volcanoes near the city of Shimabara in Nagasaki, located on Kyushu, Japan's southernmost main island. After several centuries of dormancy, Mount Anzen reawakened in 1990 and subsequently erupted in 1991, leading to a pyroclastic flow that claimed 43 lives. However, its most notorious episode occurred in 1792, marked by a series of earthquakes culminating in the catastrophic collapse of a lava dome into the ocean. This catastrophic event unleashed a mega tsunami that claimed over 14,000 lives, making it Japan's most devastating volcanic-related disaster. The tsunami's lethal impact was compounded by its dual strike on Hugo Province and its subsequent rebound, surging to a height of 330 feet, 100 meters. This immense wave possessed the capacity to reach miles inland, obliterating all in its trajectory. Mount St. Helens One of history's most striking geological events unfolded during the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. This volcano's restless nature led to a unique and exceptionally violent eruption, characterized by the total collapse of its northern slope. This monumental collapse birthed an extensive pyroclastic flow, an event with its own devastating repercussions. However, the collapse also engendered a catastrophic tsunami. As the cascading debris collided with Spirit Lake near the mountain's base, it generated a tsunami towering at 860 feet, 260 meters, above the lake's surface. The lake's size also expanded significantly, nearly doubling from 1,300 acres to around 2,200 acres. Although inland tsunamis are exceedingly rare natural phenomena, this massive surge of water traversed a considerable distance, appending trees and structures obstructing its course. Despite its formidable size and velocity, 
the tsunami ultimately succumbed to the volcanic ash cloud emanating from the mountain. The mingling of water and ash triggered devastating mud flows, clogging rivers and leaving behind a putrid sludge that solidified over months. Over time, Spirit Lake gradually re-established its water level, now monitored and managed at approximately 3,406 feet. However, the lake's recovery took over two decades to reach its current state. Mirandi Bridge Illustrating the potential doom resulting from inland tsunamis, the Spirit Lake disaster showcases the devastation they can unleash. This event was not the first of its kind, as evidenced by another inland tsunami in Italy just 17 years prior. In the aftermath of World War II, Italy embarked on various construction projects, including the construction of the Mirandi Bridge as part of a hydroelectric dam. Despite ample warnings of instability during the dam's construction on Monte Tac, the construction proceeded, heedless of local reports of tremors and landslides. An ill-fated decision to lower the reservoir's water level, assumed to enhance safety, proved disastrous. On October 9, 1963, a colossal landslide dislodged approximately 30.6 million cubic meters of rock, hurtling 3,000 feet into the Gilbert Inlet. This triggered a deluge of displaced water, propelling a massive wave 250 meters above the dam before descending the valley below and ravaging villages along its path. The tsunami's force displaced air with a power rivaling that of an atomic bomb. Due to the sparse population in the impacted area, only five lives were claimed, underscoring the lethality of tsunamis triggered by landslides. This particular landslide was exceptionally hazardous due to both the size of the landmass detached and the altitude from which it plummeted. Latuya Bay Imagining tsunamis rivaling the dimensions of those previously discussed, waves as tall as football fields, if not more significant, leads to questions of whether tsunamis of such immense scale are conceivable. Is it possible for a tsunami to tower into the thousands of feet? Skepticism persists among many regarding the plausibility of such an occurrence. However, the largest documented tsunami in history effectively addresses this skepticism. The event unfolded in 1958 within Alaska's Latuya Bay, a tranquil fjord. During a calm July night, a massive tremor struck, triggering the collapse of approximately 30.6 million cubic meters of rock into the Gilbert Inlet generating an extraordinary wave that shot skyward due to the displaced water. The resulting wave, commonly termed a mega tsunami, reached an astonishing height of 1,720 feet, approximately 520 meters. As the wave coursed through the fjord, it obliterated all vegetation and trees along its slopes, uprooting millions of trees swept away by its force. Whether triggered by seismic tremors or massive material displacement, Tsunamis remain among the most formidable and deadly natural phenomena.